I want to start by saying congrats on the movie. Oh, Fantastic thank you. sequel. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Right. What's funny is you guys literally finished the movie like yesterday. It, it sort of feels that way, yeah. So it's sort of like, I think today you're legitimately hearing the first reactions. Uh, no, f for sure. I mean, I think that it was finished so, such a short time ago. Um, the turnaround was always very quick on this film, and John's attention to detail is going to be, you know, challenged because he's he's under a time crunch. But I ultimately have always just thought this was a knockout, and I think it's incredible, and I'm so proud of it and proud of him. But hearing the reactions from everyone has been the best. Like, it's been the best, because I think there's a theory, you know, if a first movie is beloved, that with the second film, you're gonna be like chum. You know, people are gonna go for you. <laughs> and they're gonna smell some blood in the water that they want to sort of act on. But actually, people have been so generous and so enthusiastic that I, it's just awesome. It's awesome. Um, I normally don't do this, but uh, uh, the movie ends. Yeah. And it's one of those few times where I'm like, oh, fuck. I want more. Yeah. Like right at the beginning, I'm like, this is not cool. So I brought up with John, has he yeah. already started thinking about part three? And he basically said, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yes. So he, he has a whole arc of ideas that could work. Um, I think he just wanted to see how people responded to this one before he fully engaged his brain on the third one. But he, he has he has a couple of great ideas on it. Bro, he, he said something to the effect of, because I asked him about the title, was it always part two? And he said it was you mm -hmm. that came up with like part two of a trilogy or something. Yeah. So is it designed as a trilogy? Why not? <laughs> I mean, I just, I, I, I always said when we were approaching this one, I said, I think you need to think of it not as a sequel, but this is chapter two. This is just a continuation. I think there was such an investment in this family, such mileage for expansion on this kind of extraordinary world that this is the continuation. As this family have to venture out, the story ventures out, the world gets bigger, but I think I always felt he was still gonna write something muscular and intimate and intense, you know. I think there's room. A uh, hundred percent. Right? Um, uh, what, how is it, what was the first thing you shot on day one, and do you still get, like, nervous? Yeah. When you're, because you've done the role before, so you're, you know what I mean. Is oh, it, I'm bricking it for the whole first week on every movie I do. I think the anticipation gets the better of you. But it was easier with this character, because I know her so well, she's deeply personal to me, the relationships are established. I have a lot with Noah, who's just divine, and... My first scene was um, when I come out of the furnace and he's trying to stop me from going to the pharmacy. So we had that scene, lot of sign language and all that stuff. And then, um, and then there was a, I think we did the bear trap run next, which was one of the hardest weeks of shooting I've ever experienced. It was like 100 degrees. It was in a, we shot it in a coal mine, an abandoned coal mine. And so the dust, people were covered, soot black up their noses, in their ears. Like it was just, that was, um, that, I think that was the hardest week for me. What's great about that, and I gotta go, is yeah. that I've been on sets where it's like that, and everyone on the crew is wearing the mask, but you can't because no. you're the actor. <laughs> no. and, and so, like, you, you I mean, it's weird. It is kind of weird, wearing. like, everyone's in balaclavas and stuff, and you're just exposed to the elements with no shoes on.